What is going on, you guys? Dare Slayer 3000 back here with another video. And today, we, I said video, because we are going to be taking a first impression look at Outlaw Work Boots. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, um, these work boots come in at 159 US dollars, no tax included, <clears throat> no shipping, I mean. But yeah, these boots. They offer the wide square toe, and these particular boots happen to be the non um, not non square toe, non steel toe. So they're very soft. Like this leather is probably one of the most softest leathers ever. Like, look at that. It, doesn't, it looks like it's twerking. Mm -mm -mm. Like, what, what is that? Never seen that before. But yeah, they come with the wide square toe, like I said, and on. It has the double welt, not double welt, it just has the single welt stitching around it with the black lining, which that black lining is the exact same thing that's on the shaft here, or actually it, cut, it goes from the heel up to the shaft, the casing there. And it also has that on the top here. And now that we're looking at that, let's just go to the insole. The insole has the Outlaw Dipper, or like the Outlaw logo, that is also featured on the shaft. And it has the Outlaw name on the pull tabs there, so you don't have to struggle. You can just pull up like that, pull on your boots. I personally don't pull them up like that. I use, I just put them on like this. But you know, that's just me. <clears throat> But yeah, the rubber outsole, these are non-slip resistant, so you won't slip in these at all. Let me just mention before I forget, these things are made in Mexico. These are Outlaw Dipper. Outlaw made the design, or he created it, he thought about it in his head. But the people that actually put the boot together, none other than Rock and Leather. Now, rock and leather boots are homemade boots, so they're like handmade. We've got the rock and leather there, rock and leather there. That's a box of cater. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm cold. But yeah, the I'm gonna tell you guys what the insole feels like because these boots are very comfortable. The insole, like the the, where your heel goes, like, in that part there, the white space where the outlaw is, that feels like claw. That's like my, my sweatshirt inside the boot. I know, it's weird. But then as you go down the foot, it feels more like a rubber mat. It's a, like a cushion, kind of, you know? It's weird. I, I don't know how to really describe it. I'm sorry, but, you know, it's like a weird cloth cushion type feeling. I don't know. But yeah, yeah, these are manufactured in Mexico, like I said, so if you only buy U.S. products, sorry, this isn't for you, but they do not have a, a you know, saddle vamp for um, your spurs, because these aren't really made for riding horses, so these aren't really considered cowboy boots per se, but they're not like, say these. I mean, you got the heel where the your spurs would go. But we are not reviewing those moonshine boots, so. so. yeah, and they also have, like, the stitching. Sorry, the lighting might be bad, but the leather, the stitching there, what most cowboy boots have, or western boots, if you're a yuppie. But... The, yeah, this leather is very soft. This leather, very stiff. I don't know why. It's like the shaft leather here is like a different type of leather. It's like a, almost like a blanket. You know how it's like very tough, but soft at the same time. It's weird. It's like, it's like when I try to grow a mustache, it's just peach fuzz. It's basically what that feels like. <coughs> Sorry again, because I have a cold. Well, let's put these mother truckers on. And you're probably like, oh, you're an outlaw cop. You're no, they're outlaw boots, so I have the right to. Spend $150 on these damn things. It might be a little bit more expensive than that, man. 
See, that's... This is what they look like without tucking your, your jeans or putting your jeans over them. I'll show you both ways then. Wait, now you're probably thinking, wow, this 13 year old boy or kid has very big feet. Yeah. My father said, act your shoe size. And I say, well, <laughs> these things are 13s, almost 14. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, that's, this is how they look that way. Now I'm going to show you what they look like tucked in. They are stiff when they're like this. Like, because of the, since the shaft is very stiff, it makes your jeans more, you know, stiff. So that's what they look like. Because you can see, like, the thing there. So, yeah, ex just excuse my dog barking there. Of course, the door. But yeah, that's what they look like. Yeah, yeah. Nah, but yeah. So that is my review on Outlaw work boots. Now, to the conclusion. Should you buy? I'm sorry if this is what you were waiting for, but I can't tell you because I got these what seven days no not seven like five days ago i got these I, I can't tell you if you buy them or not first time i've ever worn in public was yesterday so i can't really make that decision for you i mean obviously in like a couple months i'll follow up with these maybe in like a month maybe two months you know i'll do another review on these just so you guys can you know make that decision if you should purchase or not but yeah i got scared it's a piece of mud because i was outside with these earlier they have mud on the bottom and i thought it was a piece of the boot falling apart but it's just mud so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this is my first youtube video with me showing my face and this is like the fourth time i'm doing this video and i know it's time consuming so you know because i don't even won't begin to start where all the freaking things I messed up on my past videos on these, but without further ado, let's end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys like and subscribe. I'm not going to tell you what to do, though. Do whatever you want. Just try to help me out. But yeah, that's all I got for you today, boys. See you later. Peace.